test to shore, you can make requests for samples. Uh, probably a bit late for this cruise since we're already underway, but there's a bunch more expeditions coming up this season. Uh, so sign up to be a scientist ashore. Yeah, a lot of researchers are interested in um, DNA sequencing um, and also in environmental DNA samples, but that is another thing that we do at the MCZ is, um, is take samples from all of our specimens or, well, there's, there's grants to work on these, so obviously it takes time, but um, yeah, so to also make sequencing data available and um, update taxonomy and, and learn more about these animals. Well, speaking of animals, um, so from chat, is this an area of whale migration path by chance, and would they be around during this time of year? I think so. I oh. am not sure, but I can look into that for you. Oh, okay. North Pacific humpback whales arrive in Hawaii um, from Alaska sometime from November to May. But you can get sightings January to March, making February the peak time. It's from Google. DMI. Apparently, it takes four to six weeks for North Pacific humpback whales to wow. travel from Alaska to Hawaii. Wow. Which is pretty impressive. One of my colleagues at URI just sent a video. There was a, a juvenile humpback whale in Narragansett Bay uh, what? just the other day. Yeah. It was doing, uh, I can't remember what they call it, lobtailing? You know, where it takes its tail so, and just oh, does bop, no. bop, bop, bop. So cute. Fun fact, uh, humpback whales do their feeding in Alaska and not Hawaii because of the availability of food. Right. So they come all the way down to so Hawaii to, to calve? Is that what yeah. they do? Yeah. Yep. You getting any Doppler pings off the bottom? What's our uh, ETA? We are looking at uh, ten, minutes. 10 minutes to the bottom. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Robert, can you uh, cycle power to drag bumps?
Was that a Roger? Sorry. Oh, it, it happened already. Roger, it, take it. It has occurred. Robert, you're just drifting back towards me now. So now it's going to be 15 minutes in the bottom. <laughs> change to 15 minutes now <laughs> Cause I gotta I gotta drive horizontally we do that we're losing our vertical thrust Annie what has been the highlight of your experience on the Nautilus so far Wow Wow, that is a great question. Um, what is what has been my highlight? I think uh, honestly, I think it's been um, what well, I think it's been our watch. Um, I really like our team um, because just being in this environment, honestly, it's outside of my comfort zone. It's nothing that I've ever have ever experienced back home. So this is really just being a growth this has really allowed me to grow not only in my yeah. passion for marine science but just seeing just being trained in the technology and just right. learning a lot of about geology biology and yeah this has been i like it's 12 let's go <laughs> <laughs> yeah that, that's that's been one of the biggest highlights for me on nautilus yeah. best what watch oh i don't know if i could pick one Right. Yeah. Um, I love our watch, obviously. Um, it's been really great getting to know uh, people from different right. backgrounds. Right. That's been really amazing. I feel like everyone has, um, it's is just really interesting and um, have had these awesome experiences. So that's been great. Um, I saw some amazing stars last night. That's been really wonderful. And the sunsets. Um, honestly, the food is pretty good. I'm enjoying that. Like crepes for <laughs> breakfast. Um, yeah. That's what I got off the top of my head. You were watching, um, you were stargazing last night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was looking at the white tips by the boat. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh I love the sharks, too. That's a good question. What has been the highlight so far in the Nautilus? Front row, back row? Like, you mean like the coolest thing we saw or well, like, like your ex like yeah, experience? Yeah, experience right now on the, our expedition. Hmm, that's a great question. Annie said our watch, no pressure. Uh, and then you mentioned like everything, so. Well. <laughs> I did say that I couldn't pick one. So. I think it's the people, you know, it's great people out here. Yep. Mostly. <laughs> <laughs> the felt pointed. It's been, uh, it's, it's been, an, I've done this a bunch and, uh, and uh, spent a lot of time on Nautilus. Not as much as, uh, as others, like uh, Bob's been around a long time, Smith has been around a while and that kind of stuff. but. I'm uh, training uh, a new uh, video lead in uh, Amber, and uh, she's she's doing great. So that's a whole uh, different experience for me. I've trained people a lot, but uh, training essentially my replacement uh, is uh, is uh, really interesting and brings everything from a different uh, viewpoint. Uh, because right. when you're when you're uh, when you're teaching, you're also learning, right? Uh, and that's uh, a really good thing for me. I love doing that. A lifelong learner. Uh, and uh, and then we've also got uh, a video intern in Daryl, uh, and uh, Amber and I are both training him, and he's getting uh, you know, two different viewpoints on, on things and that kind of stuff, and watching how he uh, integrates that uh, and uh, and moves ahead. He did the launch today, uh, his first solo launch, and uh, did a great job. Uh, so I get to uh, I get to live vicariously through uh, some younger folks because uh, I'm an old guy. Uh, but uh, love doing this, and uh, this is a great watch. It's tough, it's cool. 
Congrats, Daryl. Is <laughs> Daryl in this room? I don't think so. No. He's not. But yes, it was a smooth, uh, smooth launch. Yeah, I think I agree with Annie. My favorite part has been our watches. <laughs> I learned so much from yeah. all of you. Yeah. And I've been very impressed on how nice everyone is and how open everybody is to a lot of questions and just right, explaining right. time and time again probably the same thing. And they're equally very exciting to just explain everything again. Right. So that's been really yeah. nice. You know, one thing I love is cutting open rocks because <laughs> it's like a little exciting each time of what's inside because they're all coated with right. manganese crust so uh, yeah. come open and there's been a lot of variety so it's like an easter egg hunt exactly <laughs> four minutes to the bottom Woo -hoo. Woo. starting to get a little tracking something in the uh, centers we have from chat, cheering you on, Dave. Go, Dave, you rock. <laughs> yeah, nice. Thank you. <laughs> Argus is picking up bottom. Sorry, Atalanta is picking up bottom. Oh, almost there. Almost a 24. I think actually we've got a bottom in Herc, no? Herc cam? Better not. No? Okay. Must be a smudge. We're 57 meters off the bottom. So, why not? It's a smudge right there. It's just, you get light reflects off of things. All these shiny bits. No? Yeah, okay. We have a lot of shiny bits. <laughs> the new Rocking shiny bit for the slurp is uh, quite reflective. Yeah. Oh. What's it made out of? Shiny stuff. <laughs> 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 it's, yeah, it needs to be painted. De shined. Like, De shined. The sexton as well. So oh, you know? <laughs> yeah. I guess you was a former. She's online. Yes, I heard so much about you from people back home, so it's very nice. I hope to get <laughs> you in the future. How long were you stargazing? I was up here until like almost one o'clock. <laughs> oh really? One a.m. Right here. Looking I at was the there for quite a while. Wow. Very peaceful. Yeah. There were no lights. It wasn't like you could see the stars clearly. Yeah. Once uh, some of the clouds cleared, it's pretty good. I want to go see the stars, but with someone that has experience knowing what stars are because yeah. <laughs> I was talking with this with mm -hmm. somebody mm -hmm. on the first few days that we saw the same star and we were like oh that's the North Star and it's <laughs> completely different and I always say that with the shiniest of them all I'm always like it's Venus <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's really Venus <laughs> yeah the shiny one you were seeing was Venus hey I can help you with the North Star let's oh, go awesome. Okay, so you can be our star guide. Yeah. We could also see the Southern Cross last night. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we're far enough south to see it. Really? Which is exciting. Yeah. Oh, cool. I have to look for that. Yeah, I was looking at it and I said to someone that, oh, it looks like the Southern Cross. <laughs> I was like, oh, wait, <laughs> that actually is the Southern Cross. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we can't see it from Hawaii, which is normally where we're operating more closely too so all right surprise. we're gonna have to do some stargazing tonight yeah i haven't <laughs> seen right. the southern cross so everyone on the monkey deck you could come all stop and i'll get under or i'll back up so you can spin around anyway
gonna hit dive here on the for the cameras. I'm tired of watching me uh, <laughs> struggle with this thing. No, 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 you're right. No, I'll leave it as it is. I can uh, no, stop it's got, it's put it up full screen for you. Just playing around with the myriad of options to uh, control the thing. That's actually fine. Then that that's that that view. Yeah, I put it in. Uh, so this is uh, still not quite working, but um, this interface here is the uh, the web server for the camera itself, using uh, ZCam, the native ZCam software. And what comms are you on? Because I, I just need to turn up your individual volume. Uh, sorry, I'm back here at the uh, work table or chart table, as it's known. Oh, okay, okay. But I'm uh, getting ready to run away and sample some of our fantastic food. <laughs> I was thinking about. Uh, I want a burger. <laughs> Do they have burgers? Everyone wish for a burger. Is that what they have? Or are you just no, I'm just wish, hoping wish we'll that if we it. all think about it, uh, maybe we'll manifest one. Or maybe even several. Those are, those are very <laughs> rare. It's usually on Sundays. Really? Not, rare, not nearly as rare as tacos. Tacos are the oh. rarest thing. <laughs> 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 the rarest gem of all. Endangered. Been kind of like in the uh, flour tortilla foldovers that they've been doing at breakfast time. Yeah, those are fun. Because you open them up and uh, <laughs> put a little bacon in there, a little egg in there. Ooh, and really? I, I didn't, didn't know about this. Yeah. Oh, and uh, I've got uh, pico pico taco sauce on uh, on board oh. that I brought on and uh, breakfast burrito right there. I had no idea. Wow, enterprising. This there is great go. news. Holy cow, Dave, you'll be impressed with my camera operating abilities. I formatted the SD card now. <laughs> <laughs> right on, Dan. Okay. <laughs> I was able to take 30 seconds of native video at uh, oh, 1080p. That's kind of lame. Are you in the van, Dan? Yes, I am back here at the chart table. <laughs> I don't hear van anything. Why do you sound like I don't hear anything, cave. Robert. What are you hearing? Is he just in your head? He's though? at table. Yes. He's at table one. <laughs> he always does that. It's a mysterious voice in the distance. <laughs> Don't go towards the voice. <laughs> oh, what's that in Atlanta cam there? Hmm. We took off the, took off the laser. Well, that's what's changed. Looks like we'll be getting some big rocks today. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Exactly. Rock time. It's my favorite time. I gotta be there next time you're cutting open some rocks. I keep missing yeah, it. Yeah, no, for real though. Yeah. Like okay. I hear the I'll rocks out, and then I'm like, oh, I really want to nap though. I will put it on the board next time I do it. Yes. And those who okay. Thank you. do cut a rock will get a, a certificate of mastery. Thanks. Hey, even That's better. Exciting. <laughs> That's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> we have a question for you, Jules. Uh, is this, this is your first exploration. Would you do it again? Would I do it again? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I, I hope to do this uh, a lot more. <laughs> Annie. What's up? You were a little seasick on the first <laughs> couple days. Yeah. But then did it go away? Yeah. I got my sea legs. Good. Yeah. Shout out, man. Shout out to our team. Like, they really nursed me and make sure that I was okay. 
I really, I'm really appreciative. But yeah, the first three days, I believe, were pretty rough. Yeah, it's pretty miserable because it's like it'll never end kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I was seasick. hoping. This I is really no thought joke. I was trying to see the light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and when yeah. I was seasick, that's how bad it was. Yeah. No, it's really rough. Is, did anybody here get like motion sickness or, or just a little bit of a... A little sleepy ah, in the beginning. No. Yeah. But I've never really, you know, some people are more susceptible than others and I've right. been fortunate to not be. There's the bottom. Is that oh, bottom? Is that the bottom? Whoa. Looks like it. Looks like a big X. Wow, good thing we That's got to the see bottom. the bottom on our dive. It's not? On our watch. Oh, it's not? Oh. Oh, oh boo. I really look Man. like the bottom. How do you know I'm not seeing through, you know, 40 meters? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how good my vision is. I tried that earlier. Sorry, we're not we're not there yet. Wow. Yeah, I did. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> that, yeah. What a good story echo about location skills. Mapping, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's that chirping in the back, it's Adam. <laughs> so we actually He's trying to find the bottom. Yeah, we actually navigate via echolocation in this seat. <laughs> <laughs> Communicate directly to the ROVs. <laughs> okay. That is the hmm. part of the training. You have to go live with bats for uh, <laughs> <laughs> six months. Some come back as Batman, some as navigators. <laughs> <laughs> There's also in-water dolphin training, <laughs> where the dolphins train us. <laughs> we actually, um, we get information from the ROV uh, by a, a cup on each end. Yeah. Yeah. But every time, that cup just gets smaller and smaller. I was going to say, yeah, that wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited to see the bottom. I'm really excited to eat lunch and also <laughs> see the bottom. Yules is it the word that I teach you <laughs> that has a very weird meaning. Oh, I think it's yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, so, what is it again? So this is a question That's for beta. everybody. Que desespera. desespera? Yeah. yeah. Okay, now we've got bottom, y'all. We're at the bottom. We are. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so once we're here, we're going to uh, get set up with some, run through some checks. Video will calibrate. So I think we'll be handing over to the next shift uh, yeah. before we get moving at all. All right. On bottom. Oh, yeah, that's the same bottom I saw 20 meters ago. <laughs> <laughs> The one that you detected with your <laughs> echolocation. Mm -hmm. I actually, I have uh, sonar. I make sounds much like whales do. <laughs> um, it's at it's at a pitch that you can't hear though. <laughs> mm. But you haven't seen Finding Dory then. No. Ah uh, well. <laughs> Is that a sequel to Finding Nemo? Yes. Yeah. 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 It's, oh. uh, it's quite cute. And, oh. uh, and whale speak, uh, I, no spoilers here, but whale speak does feature in the <gasps> yeah. story. Okay. Ooh, you didn't exciting. watch it? Cool. No, I didn't watch it yet. What? Okay, yeah. Please uh, do when we get to shore. Okay. First thing I'll do. I think there's a whip coral there. Oh, yeah. What? Yes, Robert. Place a bet on what kind of coral it is. What do you think? We bamboo. will be going. Bamboo. I'd say bamboo. Just, I don't know. Okay, but that's good because uh, we're zero, both six, on the zero. same side of the bet, so we'll both win. Yeah. Uh, or lose. Yeah. Yeah. The problem is I don't know what other thing it could be that I would <laughs> bet on. <laughs> <laughs> we could um, instead move. I'm assuming you're trying to go downhill instead of up. What time did we go in? 
today? Uh, okay. 930? Yeah, 930. Mm. Is it Samantha who said 915? Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, we can, we can do a step over and then, uh, or a step. Why don't I do a step backwards and we'll, okay. Okay. Yeah, how about um how about like two four zero? Does that work for you? Two three zero? Two three zero? Okay. Bridge, no? Hi Bridge, can we do a step uh, two zero meters, two three zero please? Uh, two zero meters bearing two three zero. Thank you. Zero point two is fine. Thank you. Can I reset the DVL right now? Great. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Yeah, I don't know. Lighting's not great either. Looks like the one that the dead ones we saw yesterday. Oh, uh, yeah, it actually, does this one doesn't look that healthy either. Mike, we haven't done uh, white balance yet either. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hand over to Amber here. So let's uh, let's let her get in, in uh, position. Be right back. now on watch change uh, please uh, continue to tune in um, don't forget to check out nautiluslive.org for our highlights and um, check out the links for uh, to submit your public comments on the this region being nominated to become a national marine sanctuary your comments and your questions are very important to this process um, if you have any questions please send them in the chat um, thank you so much for tuning in Eight to twelve out.
Oh, yeah, still can. Bridge now. Let's do another step two zero meters at two two zero, please. Thanks. Yeah, we can't drop straight down, but we can back down diagonally. <laughs> See any good rocks yet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you want to be on SPL? Sorry. Do you want me to do it? I think that one's too big. <laughs> what is he talking to us through? Is he, what's he saying? Is that Dan on radio? I think so. <laughs> tell him I'm. Uh, is, tell him if he's looking at the GUI, can he also see yeah. that we're full down on the verts? Here. <laughs> yeah, Dan, I'm just full down here, trying to go down. Um. Mike, as soon as we're done. No, doesn't look like it. Oh, you're on talking. Uh, as, yeah. As soon as we're we're done handing over. Uh, we can go ahead and get a rock for ballast. Yeah, that's the first order of business. Yeah. Um, maybe something in front of us here. Yeah. Um, I see some, some loose stuff. Some of it could be argued to be angular. <laughs> I don't know. How big is that? <laughs> I'm just, I'm happy to keep them on the porch for now. Okay. If they're not science um, rocks. Science we can, enough. We can have it be a science rock. That's fine. Take a good deep, deep water science rock. Do you think you need to grab a, a couple? How how uh? Yeah, how dire? De definitely okay. a couple. So if you don't, okay, well, if you we don't can want take them for a sample, I can keep something on the porch. Okay, let's take a a science rock, and then maybe we can keep some extra on the porch. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's going to be another couple of minutes. We're having to maneuver our Argus in place rather than we got to do it backwards because I can't really fly around okay. very well. Okay, no worries. So you want to keep moving Argus yeah, towards want, her? Yeah, I want Argus down by her, yeah. Cool, cool. Or as close as we can get. Um, we're about 250. That's no, okay. I might be able to get down there.
Okay, so, oh, we can't, wh what's the, what move have we got put in for the ship? What, what heading? Okay, I'm gonna have to go up, try and get up near Argus, or Atalanta. There's no rocks over there. Sorry, I'm training on still cam back here, but get my attention whenever you're ready. Sure, yeah. For those of you who are just tuning in, welcome aboard the exploration vessel Nautilus. We are currently exploring an unnamed guillot off the uh, coast of the Kingman Reef. We are in an area of the ocean called the Pacific Remote Islands Marine National Monument. 
And we are exploring this part of the ocean to understand the biology and geology of this undiscovered place. So to join us along with our live journey here aboard the Nautilus. We had just touched down to the C4. We are currently about 2,405 meters below the ocean surface. And this is going to be a 24. It's good. Yep. And uh, yeah, we can either stop or take it on the go, whatever you're comfortable with, Michael. Yep. Can I get the porch out, Sarah? So yeah, that'll be with the laundry bag. Thank you. And let's try the pan and tilt light. I think we need to move that onto the other side. Always doing arm work with it. What does that say? I can't even tell. I like it too. I just think I should go on the side where the arm is. Because right, it's the, uh, the camera's blocking the light. So these will be interesting uh, geochemically, but there oh, are okay, also yeah. researchers, uh, including one of our scientists ashore participating on this cruise, who are who are researching the microbes affiliated with uh, yeah. with these nodules. Scoop. I always wonder what that was for on Hercules. I would see it on the deck and I'm just thinking, where does this uh, PVC pipe go? Uh -huh. Now I know. <laughs> yep. Enough. Yeah, that should be good. Take a look at what that leaves behind. So some folks in the chat were also curious about uh, yeah, that, geochemistry. Yeah, that looks good. Pretty good current. Wow. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Takes takes that dust right away. Um, sweet, that's plenty. Okay. Uh, Forward, I think. Yeah. Forward the uh, box out, Sarah. Just looking over Daniel's shoulder and someone asked if it would be possible to watch a rock get cut open on video. Um, um, yeah, I think that is the sink in view on the back deck. I think it might be just out of view. It's actually. just out of view. Uh. Yeah. But I don't really know how much you'd be able to see on camera regardless. Yeah. Unfortunately. Except for some geologists looking super cool in safety glasses. I was about to say, maybe we could do yeah. some fun social media stuff with that or something. We could show you Sarah reaching over to yeah. push <laughs> the rock into the saw. My short arms. <laughs> we'll get a stool for you. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that For might the be vertically fun. challenged. There's still a petition for stools well, for the flesh jars. The <laughs> petition <laughs> for what? The stools for the flesh jars. <laughs> Stools for the flush jars. Yep, those are pretty high up. Deck stool. Yep. And these are those uh, ferromanganese nodules on the rocks, right? Uh, well, that's what it looks like. Yeah. Cool. So that would be a cool find if that's what it is. Yep. Are we thinking about just leaving the laundry bag in there until, until further notice? Yeah, if it's okay with you. Yeah, sure. Let's do that for now. So for those of you at home, it may look like that 
you just have all this high-tech equipment but often we use something that's very simple a simple method so whether it's taking stuff from a hardware store and making a makeshift scoop as long as it's functional okay, it's the solution all right and Cheyenne I think we can uh, slowly get moving again awesome thank you Porch in, please. Sweet. Man, it's a huge nodule field when you look from Atalanta, Cam. It's just an endless. Yeah. Moving from one meadow to the next, mm -hmm. biological to geological. Yeah. All right, I'm excited to Add. see as we get into steeper terrain towards waypoint two, what how this how this changes. What we see, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's your. So it seems like there's a higher current in this part of the water. Is it having any effect on steering of Hercules? Oh yeah, big time. Like, uh, yeah, current is really, uh, can't take a whole lot of it. Like this is not the extents, but it's, you know, more than halfway what we can tolerate. So at some point, you know, you can't, the, the Hercules can't move laterally as well as it can forward. So then you can't make lateral movements or you know you have to always head into something or you're trying to sit down on a position but you keep getting blown off and then eventually it's just too much and just can't can't operate this is yeah this is better than halfway there this is pretty good current uh up on atalanta please So if you were wondering, why should I care about these rocks? What's so cool about ferromanganese nodules? <laughs> um, they're a big source of discussion in terms of um, the exploitation of the deep sea because they're pretty much composed of a bunch of um, really useful metals, nickel, copper, manganese, of course, iron, zinc. Um, so there's a lot of discussion going on right now, especially in terms of deep sea mining, of collecting these. Um, lots of ethical considerations, lots of things, you know. Of course, there's a lot of bio down here, a lot of animals down here that we need to think about. But um, yeah, they're really important to some people. <laughs> so it's cool to learn more about them. Looks like something, some sort of sponge yeah. to the right. But I think the front row is navigating something. So do y'all like test and sample every pebble that we get or? Mm -hmm. no? Do we what? Like sample every pebble we get or is it more so just get a few? That, that'll all be one sample. So we're not gonna be subsampling those yet, no. Mm -hmm. um, not going to be cutting the teeny little pebbles, although maybe later down the line Ooh. for analyses. Something What's in the center-ish. Sponge. Maybe a sea pen? Maybe. If we could get a quick zoom on that in the center. Looks like sea pen-like.
Sorry, is this what you wanted to zoom on? It might just be I think a look at the that back I yeah, think okay, that's rock's probably that's a just a stock. rock in front of me, is it? Yeah, I think so. It's like um, debris actually. All good up there in the front row? Mm. What's what's the halves? <laughs> <laughs> Almost looks like a There's stick. A Dead stock yeah. of a colophagus or something. That if it was dark, mm. could that have potential to be encrusted? Uh, if it was covered in dark crust, then yeah, the, there's it the... It kind of long and dark. That's the only reason why I was like, mm. Well, that would have been cool. Could have been a bone of some kind. Go um, ahead and zoom. Real, real quick, uh, Michael, sorry. What what was going on? Oh, we just have a gauge. Okay. Oh, Close that's on. about the floppy yeah, one. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Dead sponge skeleton with stuff growing on it. Mm-hmm. Um, are those polypy looking things? Or are those just zoanthids? It's hard to tell if they're that or hydroids. Right. Huh. Oh, it looks like, uh, is that a worm? What, is that a tube worm? Yeah, it is a tube worm. Wow. Neat. Let's oh, see cute. how many tentacles are on the uh, <laughs> polyps. Can't count that. But it actually, it actually kind of looks like it. It looks like, and there's a, an enemy on the top, I yep. think. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. It's Welcome. cool to see in that picture the fibers, too, of yeah. the actual stock. You can yeah. kind of see those vertical fibers. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of really curious about the fallen over thing that was behind us. But I don't know if we can get to that. The fallen over uh, thing. I was, like, yeah. right behind. It looked like a stick or some kind. I think that was just a rock, folks. Oh, that's, the, that's the one I asked about, I think, right? If yeah, you this right there. Well, maybe yeah. not. I think it was this, this rock from a different think it's angle. A rock. Yeah. Maybe it is just a rock, yeah. It's just another cool rock playing tricks on me. Another rock tricking me. Okay. Um, <laughs> All right. Yeah. See rock. See what else we got. All right. Keep going. This is what happens when you're desperate for bio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. The rock, I think it could be, it's, it's a shadow it or... Moved. <laughs> I, saw it I swear. I'll look at sediment and I'm like, it's something. Yeah. It's a the something in the ripples. <laughs> yeah. To the geologists, it's heaven out here. Yeah. It's not just a boulder, it's a rock. It's a rock. <laughs> it's not just dirt, it's sand. So Daniel, mm -hmm. uh, why are rocks hipsters? Oh, that's a good question. Why are rocks hipsters? Oh no. Oh, because um, they're not because rockers. Because something about cooling before. Oh no! Don't give it away. Is it? What? Like <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to guess. That's. It has to be. Oh, they something before it was cool. They. Oh. oh something yeah. about like an igneous rock. You know. I don't know. I don't You're know where right we're track. going you with that, but. Not sure. All right. Leela, you, you had it. What is it? What <laughs> did they do? they wear magma before they were cool. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's a good one. Nice. Now we're getting into bigger rock territory. More maybe, chances. Maybe. <laughs> well, bigger rock from what we've seen, yes. at least. Okay, this is everybody's check to drink water. I haven't had water since I got into this van. I did. So I drank water. Sips, everybody. Yeah. I should probably go get I'm some still water. on coffee time. <laughs> <laughs> I like flavor of water, but then it's not really water at that point. It's just juice. Mm. I don't know. I love those those like zero calorie flavor oh waters God. that are yeah. popular like now. I love the those. Mios, like the little squirt things. Ah, I love them. 
I am a fiend either. for zero calorie sweetener things. Oh my gosh, no. I'm, yeah. I'm water, plain water all the way. I think it's like yeah. the best flavor ever. Give me that plain water. Unless it's bubbly water, then it depends I'm on what it. kind of water, too. Yeah, light. I've recently been getting into the like lightly flavored LaCroix world. I was. Mm. I was not big on, on bubbly or flavored before, but here we are. Another crinoid, all right, woo! Yay. Mm -hmm. The koi makes me burp too much. Who said tap water all the way? Tap water, I am a tap water Did person. Did Amber say that? No, that was Sarah. For our dive this trip, so feel free to check out and tune back in anytime you like within the next day or so. And we'll be here finding new things. <laughs> Uh, come down a little bit on Atalanta, please. Five meters. Eric, can you do this? What's that? Oh, coral. Oh, yeah, severely. We're super, super, super light. I don't know. I just like can't do verts and forward at the same time. Do you think you can get that one? Rocks. Yeah. No, I can if I don't do anything else. And if you don't move that arm, like halt, like stow the arm and freeze it. Yeah, we're still taking flow, isn't it? So as you can see in our satellite feed that we are using our robotic arm to take the geologic sample. Ideally, we're looking for a rock that is roughly the size of a cantaloupe and is angular shaped. So the term that we always throw around is angular cantaloupes, a little catchy. And this is because we want something that looks like it has broken off just recently. Whereas if you have a rock that seems a little more smooth and may have had more time to become more rounded and that might change the uh, history of that rock. So you something, want something a little more fresh. So this bird's eye view from our second feed is coming from a second ROV called Atalanta. This ROV sits right above Hercules and is connected via that tether you see in the image. 
Atalanta is equipped with cameras and ballast tanks to help it float right above Hercules and to give a nice perspective from there. And Argus is, uh, Atalanta is directly attached to our ship, the Nautilus. And because of that, uh, Atalanta takes on a lot of the uh, movement of the boat, so that way Hercules doesn't have to be swaying around at the bottom of the sea. So the primary purpose of this dive will be to conduct a third dive on this unnamed geo, this time starting at a much deeper depth west of the original site. We had an instrument on our ROV previously called the Laser Dive Bot. This new instrument is will not be aboard on the vehicle for this dive, however. Based on previous multi-beam sonar mapping data, we have targeted several high-priority dive sites for exploration and C4 characterization. The majority of these dive sites lie right outside the present Kingman Reef and Palmyra Atoll unit of the Pacific Vermont Islands Marine National Monument, but it is within the U.S. Exclusive Economic Zone, or EEZ. This region has been nominated to potentially become a national marine sanctuary, and the mapping, exploration, and C4 characterization work we perform will add valuable information to the database that can help inform that process. And if you are tuning in and you're interested in exploring and also having your voice heard, you can go on to our website and on our homepage, you can see under the status, a link to a blog about this potential marine sanctuary. And it includes a link to open public comment. And if you are interested in having your voices heard, go out to that link and uh, let your voice be known. Hello everyone. Sorry, this is Sarah. We were doing some camera figuring outing um, just so we can take some really nice pictures. But yeah, my name's Sarah. I am a scientist on this watch. It's good to see, well, good to hear from you all again and good to see that we're on the sea floor again after many delays. Yep, this past uh, few hours and uh, yesterday has been quite tricky for us to make our dive. Uh, weather was unfavorable due to there being high winds and high waves, and we were just waiting for that right window to make our dive. So we're able to do that this morning. So many of our dives are contingent on the weather, and we have many uh, scientists aboard who look at that 
all the time. And it's always a challenge to find that right window to make a good dive. So far, we've had a good and fair weather, but sometimes, you know, we had to plan ahead and plan accordingly. Just as we were launching earlier, well, we actually had a wall of rain come in through, and we had to hold off for a second to let that rain sweep on by. So we have questions in the chat open for people. Uh, you can go to nautiluslive.org, and we are currently open to having live questions being answered. And one of the questions was asking, we were talking about looking for a more angular rock as opposed to a rounded one. Would that still be considered weathering as the currents and debris will smooth out the rock over time? So yes, it would still be weathering. And oftentimes when you have rock being broken up when it's perfectly angular or angular in shape, that means that it was recently broken off and that in and of itself is a form of weathering and erosion. And oftentimes those pieces that are left broken will over time be worn out by the ocean currents. But something that looks like it's a little more angular or pointed or like it looks like a, a shard or something like that just broken from a bigger rock that shows a more recent history. Sometimes we find rocks that look like they just were broken down angular. Some look like glass or they have a fracturing pattern that makes them look like something called uh, columnar basalts. And most of the rocks we see down here are basalt and on their outer shell is something called ferromanganese crust. And that's something many of our geologists on board are highly interested in studying. Ooh, we have a fish on the Atalanta's camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looks like a rat tail. But yeah, also Wheel is back today. I'm back, yay! Hooray! Okay, good video, we sh here. should be good to get ready for a white balancer. I'm back with an electric blanket slung over my shoulder. Yay! Can I Keep see the, the arm and the <laughs> bubble cam, Sarah? Michael, were there just craft arm issues too? No, there's something... There was something going on, like dump and flow or something, but okay. it's not an actual ballast problem because it's oh. just come back. It's just okay while we're fiddling with it. So Really? Okay. Know. Remains unknown. Um, we can still take a rock sample if that would help. No, we don't need one unless you want it. Uh, let's see. What's our depth right now? 24. Um... I mean, we got a lot of nice loose rocks, and we're right here, so why not? Let's okay, take. Go one. ahead and zoom in. Yeah, I'll just do the white balance here, quick. Yeah, yeah. After, afterward. And Sarah, so when I'm setting up the still cam, when they have the arm out for the white balance, that's when you do. It's usually an okay moment to start focusing stuff. <coughs> um, with where it is on the porch right now, it's a little. All right, we're gonna go black for a moment. Not in the optimal uh, spot for focusing, because mm -hmm. it's a little out of the field of view here. I'll show you. Um, um. Oh, that's actually all right right now. So, like, let's look. What did this last got it. photo look like? <coughs> oh, I think it might be. Oh no, it's not. Okay. Alrighty. So that looks pretty good. Okay. I feel good about that. Okay. Yeah. Because it, like, the arm to me looks a little blurry, but maybe it's because it's so high resolution, like, you have to kind of zoom in to make sure. I don't the, know. So it, it gets blurrier on the outer edge, so what's m most in focus is going to be it's right here. Center. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, okay. yeah, that's just a product of the setup on Got this. Got it. And then uh, end up cropping that out. on that one. Okay. Cool. Okay, so we want a rock? Yeah, sure. Let's go for it. Take one right off the bat. Um, what are we looking at? Maybe somewhere here? Okay. Maybe. Kind of a good area, though. 
Lots look mobile. Doesn't have to be anything too ginormous. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Is this one grabbable? That's a, that's a bit. I was about to say, it's a big it's a 10 big. centimeters. Uh, looks Is like maybe 15. So maybe this one. I think that one. Yeah, that one's, uh, mm -mm. I had my eye on that one. Okay. so bad with rock scale even with the lasers i'm like i don't know <laughs> it's about 20 centimeters <laughs> there's also a dead something kind of to the right yeah let's stock of something mm -hmm. okay can i see the arm again in the bubble cam Uh, this like right here looks like a fresh piece. That's good, thank you. First good rock with sample. That? Yeah. Okay. Of the dive. And so a rock like this is what we mean by angular. So it looks like it has jagged em edges almost versus other rocks that are a little smoothed out and as you can see in this field here. Okay, box out. Yep, any of those are good. A, B, C, or D? Dealer's choice? Mm, you can do A. I like it. She's type A like me. <laughs> uh. Oh. Uh, 58. Ooh. Smooth Yay. landing. Close box. Let's do it. What direction are we going in here? Okay, Roger. Yep. Oh, is this our prototype? Can I get that back on the gauges? Button? Yeah. Shoot. Um, Must I think be. that that's been there. Oh, really? Usually is there. Yeah. <laughs> What's we that had um, a system called Aletta. Let Shan call the move first. We had a system called V Link that we were using uh, for a little bit during. COVID years, um, where some sometimes some of our chief scientists actually for the crews were not on the ship and uh, they kind of tuned in on a separate special channel and we uh, were able to communicate with them like oh that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a whole bunch of scientists ashore that are helping us right now. So I think they're trying to implement some sort of nav um, communication system channel for them. That's what I was referring to. Is that uh is that something they've been chatting about? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah. So much happens in two days and you're gone. I know, I know. But yeah, very not much more than that. <laughs> Yeah, that's something kind of cool that, um, like on Okeanos dives, scientists can can call in and chat directly. Chat, yeah, which is 
pretty cool feature. What's that in the background? It's a big, mm, dead-ish, ferrayed Aspidoscopulia sponge, I think. Wow. You're able to see all that? It's got this really um, characteristic shape that I think looks like a rib cage. I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like from here. And then it looks like there's a stocked sponge in the back, which I'd have to get a little closer to see um, exactly which one that is. Yeah, that really does look, it kind of looks like a... Looks like colophagus, but would have to see where the stock is attached. Oh, Loopy, I can write things in. So these ribcage ones are Spidoscopulia. Go ahead and zoom in. Oh, Steve is here. Yay. Hi, Steve. Hey, Steve. Yeah, so it looks, looks dead. Yeah. Those can be really cool and big sometimes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> cool. Thanks, Michael. Okay, full wide. Could we zoom on the sponge in the back briefly, if possible? Sponge in the back? Oh, yeah, I see it. Uh, it's a little far away. I think we're getting over there. Okay, sure. Might be a bit of a shaky zoom or stretched out, but I'm gonna go for it. Okay. Um, go ahead and zoom in. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like colophagus. I'm assuming the little concavity is on the back. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah. Really. Ah. <laughs> be good. Thanks, Dan. Thank you. Real quick, can you spell that for me? I like sure. To type that. It starts out like cauliflower. C a u l mm -hmm. o p h a c u s. Colophagus. That's great. Thank you for zooms. Okay, full wide, please. Now, what can you tell us about this particular sponge, Leela? Oh, uh, not very much. That's that's uh, where my knowledge <laughs> ends. Is what it is. Uh, I can tell you about sponges in general. <laughs> Um, but not much about these stock sponges in particular. Other than that, we think that they take quite a long time to grow. So when we see these really big sponges, uh, they're old. It's likely that they can be older than you'd think. Is the ship still tracking along there? Okay. So I take it this particular sponge doesn't work at a fry cook restaurant. At a what restaurant? You know, with the the crusty crab. Crusty crab. <laughs> nope. Not this one. Looks a little different. Darn. <laughs> I think these are so cool. We've seen we've seen huge, huge stocked sponges, huge bolosoma and colophagus. Not yet. I don't think. Maybe there have been a few on this. Um, cruise. Not yet on a watch I've been on, but in the yeah. past ones that are. I mean, twice as tall as Herc. It's redonkulous. Oh, wow. Yep, they can get really big. Yeah, I've seen in some of the uh, previous expedition photos, they look humongous. Yep. Some of the Balasoma that are yellow, they really look like, like a chunk of, of the moon. You know, when you draw the moon when you're a kid and it's like a really big Swiss cheese moon? Yeah. Yeah, they look just like that. Humongous 
So cool. Mm. We'll see what we see. We have we have dives yet. We have this dive. We have no idea what we're gonna see. <laughs> Whole new world. Exactly. So yeah, we're in rock land right now. Whole lot of rocks. Rocks and sand. Mm-hmm. And this sand isn't just, you know, made of stuff you find on a beach. It's also made of what falls out of the ocean. This can be marine snow. This includes uh, organic material like uh, feces, dead matter from dying fish or animals, uh, all sorts of other nutrients that are flowing through the ocean that fall to the sea floor. And they slowly build up in this layer of sand and silt over time. Sometimes we even take a sample of this sediment. Mm -hmm. And you may see us take a push core sample. We Ooh. just have a tube that, or a bog arm pulls out and it just uh, pushes it into the soil. And we just take that sample back with us. Another call of Mm -hmm. um, Cheyenne, you probably were planning on doing this already, but we can, I think, call in pretty continuous mm -hmm. ship moves as we go. Sounds the background. good. These rock structures look pretty igneous to me. Yeah, the the mm. shapes for yeah. sure. Some sort of skeleton to the left again. Uh, might be a or coral. Maybe yeah, that looks like whip. an unstocked coral of some kind. If I'm branching, get a sorry. zoom here. Yep. Ooh, and something off to the left. Let's see. Bamboo? Go ahead and zoom in. Mm. Yeah. Looks like can Yeah. The the polyps look bamboo-y to me. I don't see the uh yeah, Steve says bamboo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can nice. just make out a couple of the little bands, too. Yeah. Thank you. And then I think there was a stock Some while we wait off to the left of something. Yeah. That's getting a bit far away up here. That's oh, it's just a big crinoid. crinoid. That's yeah. fine. Yep, okay. we can pull ahead. And to go catch up. As soon yep. as you find something to look at, that's when that <laughs> lens starts rolling. No, nope, that's great. That's great. There's There will be more, I'm yes. sure. Crinoids seem like they're like the grass of the deep sea almost. It's just yeah. everywhere. <laughs> and you know what? That's not the case everywhere, though. Yeah. And that's a thing we've been seeing a lot in this region. I haven't, I, I wasn't on the last cruise to this region. I don't rem know if they saw that many um, stocked crinoids last time, too. But hey, on the. Come down a few meters on Atlanta. Previous Central Pacific deep sea cruises I've been on, it was uh, kind of like in a different biological zone the way that Brian describes it and uh, we didn't I mean we saw some stocked crinoids but it definitely wasn't like meadows of stocked crinoids like we've been seeing here on every yeah. dive another reason why we're out here yeah. to learn cool. more some other stock sponges in the background went to the right mm -hmm. these are really big crinoid stocks look at that yeah not much out here. Well, I feel like we're starting, we see. starting to see some stuff. Yeah. Ooh, something. Yeah, what a is, big sea whip. What is that? Is so that just like a blurry? No, it's a something. <laughs> uh, yeah, both, both like of those things are interesting. Kind of looks like a Chrysogorgia. It does look like a Chrysogorgia a little. Go ahead and zoom in. 
Yeah. With some associates on it. Oh, mm -hmm. are those those coralivorous jellies, maybe? Or it's hard to tell from here. Yeah. Looks like Oh. Oh. Anemones? Oh, maybe. Actually, yeah. Chrysogorgia crisis, maybe, with anemone associates. Looks like they have so polyps. Small. Yeah, hard to tell. Okay, thank you. Okay, full wide. Just gotta get back Did out get in front of, that of Atlanta. Loopy? Very different landscape than what we've been seeing, I think. Um, at least in the previous dive compared to that. That was interesting. There was a nice little cluster there of a couple things, and now mm -hmm. back over a no corals land. How big do you think that Caliphacus sponge was, the one we got before? Maybe about 10, 15 centimeters? Um, the one that we first zoomed in on? Yeah. Oh, uh, probably probably bigger than that. Uh, like wide, the head? Uh, yeah, I'd say the head. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I, I didn't, I didn't look closely. Maybe you looked better than me, but I would have guessed more like 20 centimeters or something. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the stock, probably like a meter tall. Wow, that's pretty big. Bigger than it looks. Yeah. Seems, yeah, like we're on the side of the slope. It's kind of making sense with what we have in high pack. Mm hmm. Ooh, what's sort in front of, of us there? Oh. Stock with the. With something Chrysic growing on it. Gorgia? Yeah, that's what growing it looks like. Growing on it? Which is kind of interesting. I don't think I've oh, really yeah. seen them before. Mm -mm. Me neither. Usually they're on rocky substrates. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have a yeah. crinoid? There's a crinoid and a Chrysogorgia on. growing on a dead stalk. Wow. That's cool. That is cool. Maybe some encrusting sponge on it? Uh, or, or the the xenophyophores maybe mm. on the top left. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. Great. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Okay. Oh, it's something Full at the wide, bottom please. as well, but looked cool. like maybe another Chrysogorgia. Maybe. Cool. How this so that coral is utilizing the skeleton for height. Mm -hmm. Get some extra current flow in there. It's really cool how it was able to successfully propagate on that skeleton. Yeah, I wonder how old those skeletons are. Yeah. You know, they're not... The, we've seen even sponges, fragments of sponges or skeletons of sponges that are starting to become encrusted in, in ferromanganese themselves. So you know that that sponge That's has old. been there for <laughs> over a million years, getting encrusted, which is crazy. Right. Yep, things don't move down here, really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no. What they do, it's very gently. Was that? Oh, is that a gauge yeah. flying around? Looks like a gauge came loose. Was that the n new one that was just put on? Yeah. What's that? Ooh, we have an anemone. Mm-hmm.
always had trouble saying that word, anemone. It's like anemone, anemone. <laughs> so finding Nemo. Anemone. Yeah. <laughs> it made it confusing for all of us. It's quite the tongue twister. Daniel, I have a joke, joke for you. Cheyenne, out of curiosity, how far, or I guess I, I can look at this in the dive plan, the distance to waypoint two is, what is that, like 700 meters? Yeah, about 630 left. 630, okay, cool, thanks. So Leo, I have a question. Yeah? Do you have any helpful tips to helping to identify like different species we find down here? No, we can keep moving forward, but... Um, sorry, one sec. Uh, you were asking, can you ask that one more time? I was listening to the front row. Sure. Do you have any tips on how to identify uh, different animals down here, like oh, corals, no. crinoids, like... As a viewer back home? Yeah, as a viewer back home. Uh, yeah, it's not completely up to date, and so sometimes we may say something different than in this guide, but uh, if you Google NOAA Deep Sea Guide, then there's a, a Deep Sea Benthic ID guide that comes up. Um, you have to know a little bit Can about the different one? phyla or higher gr groups that organisms are in to look through that guide. Um, but once you get the hang of that and you know, like, periphera is sponges and cnidarians are where corals are, fall under, then uh, then there are pictures with, with the names of each of these. Um, hey, go ahead and zoom. That you could follow along with and try and try and learn. Try and help us out. Another spotoscopula yeah, skeleton. Dead. Dead. Hmm. And it looks like a sea whip in the background with some things growing on it. Mm -hmm. Very dead. Okay. Hmm. See another something floating in the ocean looks like a little... That's good. Thank you, Michael. Roger. Full wide, please. I suppose I should say front row. I know I know the camera is being controlled by both both of you, video and and pilot. Ooh, kind of cool to see the streaky yeah. texture. Yeah. Oh wow. Rippled, but with these rocky streaks. I don't. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Almost looks like an open highway. Yeah. yeah. And then is this concavity we're seeing, or just? Yeah, it almost slow? looks like it's like the fallout from that rock, like screaming in <laughs> from space or something. <laughs> it's not that, but it does look like that. And we have we have been before on one of our dives, not here, but elsewhere. So there's, sorry, Go there's, ahead. there's something down here. You want me to take a run at it because it's going to be at the end of the leash. Yeah, sure. Let's go look at it. Here. Oh yeah, that's a colophagus. So there you can see that that head is like. Uh, yeah, more. Th it was more Ooh, than 20 yeah. centimeters, I think. Oh yeah. Well, there's another <coughs> one over there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool. We're seeing a lot of colophagus down here. That's very different. So this one has kind of like a more lobate head, which you see on colophagus sometimes. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> uh, it's all right. Strong out here. Good all enough. good. Thank you. Good got, enough. Got look. a good look. Um, I was mentioning that we have in the past um, helped researchers who had a, a point for where they, I think, I want to say this was NASA, for where um, a small meteorite had, had crashed into the ocean and we went to go excavate that area to try and, to try and find it. Wow. Nice. Yeah, we did not we did not find not it <laughs> but <Yeah. laughs> and and yeah and it was a riveting dive <laughs> digging around to the sand but it was cool 
it was cool Were there to many try. worms that were unearthed? <laughs> worms no. unearthed? No. Worms unhomed? No unhomed worms. Not, so, not in the dirt. Yeah, not that we saw. Maybe. Current is really high down here. Is it? Okay. Really? really? Yeah, I guess like, you can yeah. kind of see that yeah. whipping by. Yeah, that makes in sense. The marine snow. Well, then and that's the interesting. That's really I'm cool. curious to see uh, what that means bio-wise. Yeah. I as mean, soon as we hear have some like steeper, rockier um, faces, I wonder yeah. what we'll see. It already looks like we are getting a com like somewhat of a completely different community in this area, at least from what we've been seeing. So that's cool. Do you have a good grasp on what direction the current is coming from, Michael? Yeah, it's almost out of the north. Out of the north. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, about I think it's about. 25 coming out 25 degrees okay yeah you see uh some of the boulders that are out here they but be really careful like if you're moving that uh, so they look like they have a trail of smaller rocks behind them that didn't get caught with the current so it's almost like they're blocking a the current for those rocks and a lot of the things that we see like to attach themselves to hard substrates, aka rocks. So, mm -hmm. no rocks, not a lot of things. Yep. And it's always interesting where we see sea pens because sometimes you're over these big sandy patches and you don't see sea pens yep and other times it's a field of sea pens yep and i mean if this is truly an area of high current maybe it's too high of a current for a lot of things to survive who knows we'll see given all the marine snow out here it seems like there's quite a lot of nutrients to go around just yeah. not a hard substrate for anything to attach to yeah. So we could be seeing some more mobile organisms, but if they're also mobile, that means that they might be somewhere else other than our camera view. Yeah, but we had just had somebody in a SPL chat type in said that that meteorite mission was uh, close to where they lived in uh, Washington wow. State, Vancouver. It was. Island. That's right awesome yeah so the ocean makes up 70 percent of our planet's surface so it's often this big giant uh, target for many meteors that enter its atmosphere so they're more likely to crash into the ocean than say into a city Yes, that's true, thankfully. Yes, thankfully. So, question about these rocks. Mm -hmm. Do we think, what type of rocks do we think they are? Why do we think we're here? If we have any guesses, I don't know. Don't have guesses. I can't tell if these are nodule bits or not. Could we? Actually, that might um, be interesting yeah. to look at. Maybe it would be interesting to zoom. I think front row's doing something, but yeah. afterwards. Looks like we have a lot more of it to go, <laughs> yeah. so. Um, there's a black thing to the right. Michael. Yes? Could we actually zoom on these super, uh, super interesting rocks? Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'll take maybe a seat if you like and get, yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe where that one. little yeah, and then you thing can get is. That too. I don't know that we're trying to sample, just, just trying yeah, to take a look. Yeah, just looking. Yep. Zoom away. Hmm. Ooh. Anemone. These do actually almost look sort of Nodule. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah. Um, hmm. Do we maybe want to take one just for fun? Uh, we could take a scoop of them for fun, yeah. um, but not probably right now. How are we doing on ship move? Where are we at on that ship move? Um, you can just stop the ship here. We should be okay. All right, they're the same all over. I can scoot yeah. ahead. Yeah, scoot, yeah. scooch to wherever is comfortable. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Argus or Atalanta is still pretty far behind the ship, so if we stop here, then... It's going to swing still? Yes, but okay. we can yeah. let it swing up and then scoot. Yeah, yeah. all right. Let's let okay. it swing up. And oh. What? 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 Really? What? Wow. Doesn't it have? How did you figure that out? You wow. like scientific process this? Yeah. No way! <laughs> you were the science experience. <laughs> that is so strange. Wow, there must be some kind of mineral in there that. Just yeah, I was about to say, you. isn't there's something there under the lasers? If oh. you see something, you go for it. <laughs> <Hannah Bird. laughs> I know Get some waters are like super um, salty or something like that. What is? Like some waters, they add a lot of like sodium or something. You know when you you get into the when you go into the grocery store aisle zoom in there for water and there's like 10 different kinds of purified, you know, yes. there's like distilled and then purified and I'm like I don't know, this is all overwhelming. It's, oh, it's just yeah, and there's like spring water and it looks like, like a water tiny for babies. Bamboo. Oh yeah. Little bamboo coral. Yeah. No, look at it. Oh, and there's uh, something else. and a question mark. <laughs> A question mark. Uh, uh, ooh, that looks. Gosh, I don't know. Tunicate? Yeah. That's, that's all say. I got. Some sort of. Interesting bell, bell kinda shape. Kind of gives chordate. Yeah. Tunicate. Does that vibe. give you big chordate vibes? Yeah, that's <laughs> okay, that's good. Thank you. That was cool. Yeah, that does look like a tuna kit. Mm. Not quite, not, not quite this yeah, one. Yeah, but, but it, that's it's similar to that. Similar. What kind is that? This what is a, a pyr pyruculeolus. Yeah. Pyru pyuridae. Yeah, that looks pretty similar. Actually. Yeah, I think that actually looks pretty similar. I'll type it in the chat. Oh, oh, oh. Nope. No one saw that. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Chronoid. Funny how the ground just jumped up there. Yeah. For a second. Oh, mm -hmm. Why did I do that? <laughs> Put it in the chat for you, Loopy. Thank you. Oh, there's a fallen stock. Man, I, I didn't know. Or. When Steve asked for a fallen stock earlier, which one he was talking about? Come up about. a few meters on uh, I Atalanta. I think he was thinking about the... The Ferraid? Yeah. Okay. The Ferraid. Okay. Because he sent that closer to what we were talking about, the Ferraid. Okay. Blue sea oh. star. Oh, yeah. Brittle star. Sorry, I'm a little That's out okay. of position no, 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 here. That's okay. No, no, keep going. Get into position. We got... I'm just pointing it out. Oh. Oh, Riddle Star. Okay, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> yes. Uh, we still have a long way to go a until the swing. slope. Yep. Yeah. Yep. We can just keep putting in moves. <laughs> it's kind of oh. funny to see at this depth how far back we're streaming behind the ship. Yeah. Mm. Oh, big, big stocks. stocks. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Atalanta is 70 meters behind the ship. 70 meters, oh. yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, Ooh, there's a big fish. Yeah. Can we zoom oh. on that, friend? Ooh. Yeah, wow. look it in there a bit more. Um, oh, is it all right to zoom now? Uh, hold on, I'll try and get a bit okay. closer. Oh, the current is wicked. Don't see the fin on. Oh, oh, oh. man, we scared him. Got scared. Big 
big cuscule? Yeah, or? looks like a cuscule. Oh, what's see? that little black dot? Is Something of oh. it. Oh, oh. oh. floaty. Yeah, see it? Yeah. yeah. Perfect circle. There's something <laughs> outfitted. I didn't see a, a McQuirrid fin in. on top. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Oh, it's on the stalk. That's yeah. weird. Wow. Oh. Uh, that's oh. probably a tuna kit. It, 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 uh, Maybe. Such a weird orb. We like always find orbs. Those are the hardest to identify. Random colored uh, orbs. Huh. No idea. I don't know. That's really cool. Did you get a picture of that, Loopy? I know it's hard as. Yeah, I think I got there. A, that one. Ooh, one ooh. I think I got a good couple okay. of pictures. That looks like a tunicate. Yeah, but I it's mean, dark. That's what I would guess, but <laughs> with orbs like that, I just I don't know. It's it died doesn't look like a sponge. No. It doesn't look like a cnidarian. No. It, I mean, with the stalk, it doesn't look like a mollusk. Kind of just looks like a black version of what we saw. No, but there's like an orange. Something in, in the center, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Unknown organism. <laughs> cool. Oh. Thank you. Okay. Full yep. wide, please. Good catch. <laughs> It doesn't look like a jelly. Mm -mm. It doesn't look like an anemone. No, it doesn't <laughs> look like anything Nidarian. doesn't look like a sponge. It kind of looks like that unidentified purple orb. Well, that one, it did look like that one. That one was a mollusk, and that one was not mm. on a stalk. Mm. And now, yeah, I don't know. Huh. Huh. Oh. Look at this. But yes, that is, was oh. the first thought. It does look a, li a lot like that orb. Well, this is a weird stock situation. Mm. Oh, oh, interesting. This looks like one of those balsoma heads, but with mu most of the head missing. Ooh. Is this one still alive? Um, kind of looks dead. It's definitely kinda dead. Kind of looks alive. Well, it's yeah. It's dead. It's dead. That was a balsoma sponge, I think. It looks like something wow. happened to I it. I hope we see some big living ones of those. Maybe after this move or after the next one, just stop them up and let the vehicles swing in before we start going down the slope there. It's good enough zoom, I think. Is it down well. or up? I think it's up. Up. Uh. Oh, it's lightweight? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Daniel, do you have any more jokes? <laughs> uh, that's a good question. Let me think of one. <laughs> hmm. You got any jokes for me? Roger. Ooh, another potential caliphagus coming up. Mm -hmm. and oh, and uh, another Chrysogorgia. Yeah. I think these are all crisis. I mean, I don't, it looks they most look like pretty, crisis. Yeah. But I also feel like there aren't that many genera in the guide, and I wonder, you know, I feel like yeah. all bushy Chrysogorgia are oh. probably not Chrysis. Yeah. This is a bigger colophagus. Mm-hmm. You want to zoom? Uh, a quick one, sure. and then we can keep going. 
Go ahead, uh, video. They're all kind of dimply. They're all kind of mushroomy. But, um, it's oh, nice. Ooh. Okay, so like, now's the moment. I'm curious, what is, oh, still cam seeing. Right, I think That's still cam is kind of towards the, oh yeah. So, it's, these are the moments where see like it hasn't gotten one close up yet, but it yeah. will take one in however many seconds. Right. There, oh, it took did. one, and we'll see what that looks like. Looks a bit overexposed, not sure though. It's hard Ooh. to tell from this what the exposure will look like. Look at that underside, like. really looks like a mushroom. Mm -hmm. I love the white stock, it's so pretty. Yeah. It is pretty. So I've noticed that we found a lot more sponges down in this part versus crinoids. Do you think there's any reason to that? Um, I don't. I don't know that. I guess there were fields and fields of crinoids before, but yeah. we're still seeing them inter interspersed. And that's a yeah. It's, if you're seeing any, that means that it's a pretty good amount for the deep sea. Mm -hmm. I think we've been seeing the colophagus too on other dives. I can't. Okay, I haven't honestly been light. down here enough during sections where we. We really, I mean, I will say that. that, like on our watch at least, we really haven't been seeing that many caliphagus. Okay. We have been seeing like some euplectelids, not quite these. Like that's a pretty. I think but the exposure pretty. is pretty alright on that. The sand is overexposed. That's just like. Yeah. Is often the case. That crop would be fine. Yeah. Um, but yeah, next time, like when we're seeing, when we start seeing cool scenery, I'll always go and check and see like, okay, how Has are these, look. how are these turning out? Yep. And underexposed is better than overexposed. Got it. Another stock something, a little baby, little baby caliphagus, yep. That's a balosoma now. Oh. Yeah. Um, yep. Uh, zoom in. So that's one of the first living balosomas that we've seen so far. Right, that different top shape. Yeah, so their stalk usually attaches either to the bottom side and the concavity is looking forward or from the back of the concavity and that yellow stalk is um, often the balosoma are the ones with the yellow stalks. Right, cool. That's good, thank you. Okay. This one's Full a wide. yeah, small one. Mm-hmm. Are their stalks hard like a coral skeleton or are they soft? Uh kinda like a mix. They're not hard, but they're also not soft. They're like a little more fibrous, I guess I would describe them as. And the the heads though are Oh, what's a good late? Like, are almost a little like. Imagine cotton candy was made up more of like little pieces of fiberglass or something. Yeah. They have those. Their skeleton is those silic silicious spicules. They're called little, like star-shaped kind of silicious some particles. Of, some sort of orange thing. And uh, that we and passed. so it's kind of like crunchy-ish cotton candy. <laughs> <laughs> That you don't want to eat. That you don't want to no. eat. Like f like home insulation, you know? Kind of more like that. <laughs> it's bestos. Okay. <laughs> if it's all right, I want to move the ship another 50 meters and then we'll be at the elevation. Yeah, yeah, just one more and then we'll just let these, let the vehicle swing in. Sounds like a plan. Sarah's ready to pounce. She's like, I, I can feel it. The substrate's getting interesting. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, we're full getting, box. We're getting buttery oil texture. Buttery oil is all those little tiny beads you don't see that comes from the uh, ferromanganese crusts. Never heard the term butrioidal until I got on this cruise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard that a lot in my mineralogy classes in college. Oh, crinoid. Kay. So, Daniel, I have a question for you. Sure. What's the best type of rock? Uh, asking me or just in general? 
Except you specifically, as a geology major. <laughs> the best type of rock? Uh, that's uh, that's a uh, one of those questions where somebody might pick a fight with me. <laughs> uh, I'd say personally, if we were looking at one of my favorite rocks, I'd say peridotite. So I mentioned this yesterday or day before that it's this green rock that has this mineral called olivine and it's really nice it's really pretty and it's formed from magmas deep within the earth but most of it is actually found in the upper mantle of of within the earth so if you were actually down inside earth it wouldn't be like this red orange spewing lava it might actually be green that's really cool yep and to, you know well what am i trying to say uh, I do have a joke for you from earlier. So, what is it? <laughs> Sometimes I, I have a brain fart and then I forget. Did you know that it's wrong to breed eels with eagles? Eels with eagles? Yeah, you know why? <laughs> why would that be wrong? <laughs> <laughs> because it's eel eagle. Get it? <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> that one's really corny, but it was a good one. <laughs> oh, there's a little white. Yeah, another yeah. sponge. A lot of sponges. Thought it was a jellyfish. Got excited. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't think we. I don't think we've seen it's another many jellies on our watch. I like seeing all these sponges with all these shapes. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and zoom. Trying to find Ooh. the right one to scrub my face with. <laughs> this one looks like it has a little protrusion on it. Maybe a little associate. Yeah. Not quite it's sure what. Shiny. Kinda looks like acne. <laughs> <laughs> Sponge acne. Man. Yep. A little something. Hard to tell. Yeah. All right, everybody, focus your eyes really yeah. hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little snail? Maybe. Maybe. It looks small yeah, as me, yeah. but it looks like I see like a little bit of a swirl. Yeah, yeah I think like that is yeah, a snail. A mollusk. A little gastropod. So are gastropods a type That's of mollusk or is good, it something thank different? You. Okay. So yes, they are. Wide. Gastropoda yeah. is the mm -hmm. type of mollusk. Or it's sorry, not a type, it's a it's, it's a the class. I think it was class level, maybe? I think so. So gastropods will include things like snails, slugs, other creatures? Yep. Mm-hmm. And mollusks can also include, say, um, oysters or other creatures like that, right? Yeah, those